Linked lists truly are interesting data structures. They're quite simple to understand, but you can actually form very complex problems out of them. As we can see here, linked lists are basically comprised of data structures called nodes. Now, as we can see here, this specific linked list has three different nodes. The first one being right here, this is the second one, and this is the third one. Now, the first node is often called the head node. And it's very important to understand that a whole linked list can be gotten and all the values traversed as long as you have the head node. Now, within each node, there are two separate elements. We have the value, and this value, as we can see in this node, is seven. Now, it's important to realize that anything can go as a value as a, uh, inside of a node. For example, you can have a character, you can have a string, an integer like we have here, or even objects. Now, the second part of the linked list is what's called a a pointer and this pointer is what points to the next node in the linked list now at the end of our linked list we have the last node which is often referred to as the tail node and this tail node is unique because its pointer points to null or none which indicates there are no more nodes in that linked list after this one now, it's important to note that there are a couple of different types of linked lists. Now, the two most popular ones are singly and doubly linked lists. Now, singly linked lists are linked lists where every node only points to the next node and nothing else. Hence, it is singly linked to another node. Now, for doubly linked lists, we can see that not only do they have a place to point to the next node, but they also have a pointer that goes to the previous node. So as we can see here, the node that contains 7 has a pointer that references to the previous node, which in this case is the node that contains 5. Now if we look at this node, because this node is the head, there's nothing that comes before it. Therefore, when it points backwards, it actually just points to null. And there you have it, guys. That is the basics of how a linked list works in less than two minutes. Check out the next video where we are going to go over how to code one of these bad boys in Python. And then after that, we're going to talk about interview questions that it could possibly show up on. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Take care, guys.